Hi, this is Marty with House of Arms. I'm sitting here today with um, the sales manager from Doug Turnbull Restoration, Steve Lester. Welcome to Colorado. Thanks, Marty. Uh, Steve was here for the co the Denver Collector Show, uh, which was over the weekend, and so it was an easy fit for him to come down to our shop and talk to us about, and we've got some announcements to make and some other stuff. This You might wonder what I'm holding. This is obviously with a big lever thing on it. Um, it's obviously not a Thompson Center. Uh, but what, tell me what I'm tell me what I'm holding here because it feels really cool. Right. So that is an example of an original uh, Winchester 1873 rifle. Um, just a great, honest, patina gun. Uh, one that was used for, for years and years. And uh, what our business does of restoration is breathe new life into them and restore them back to exactly how they left the factory originally. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, I, I, it, it feels so cool to hold one of these. I'm a, I used to be a lever gun guy a lot more than I am now anyway. But it kind of makes you feel like John Wayne, maybe, you know, I don't know, real Bravo or one of those old movies, but or, or Jimmy Stewart somewhere. And these are these are cool. And to see what these guys do, I think you said you even made a, a new stock set for this one. Right. Um, yep. So as part of our restorations, it can strictly be just uh, metal finishing, like we do for your Thompson Centers now, mm -hmm. uh, as well as uh, turning new wood for it, installing new barrels, uh, depending on what the firearm really needs to get it back to looking original. So if you have one of these collector type items, a non-Thompson Center collector type item, and you want to work, then you just contact um, Steve or Turnbull Restoration, and they can take care of you on that. Now for, now, for the Thompson Center side of the world, which is where we live. Um, and, and can I be the one to introduce it, Marty? So, uh -huh. yeah. so, so actually, the, the reason I came, other than being around the corner uh, for the Colorado Gun Collector Show, mm -hmm. uh, was to, one, bring Marty some more uh, color case Thompson Centers that we just finished up. Got them right here. And then also to talk to you and announce that uh, House of Arms is going to be the Turnbull exclusive dealer for color case hardening frames. And we are extremely honored to do that. And uh, color case hardening is something that I used to drool over on the uh, on the Thompson Center website when they had the custom shop back in the, quote, the good old days. And uh, and then when the custom shop went away, it kind of all went away. So we're bringing that back and we're really proud to be able to do that and to partner with, with a company that their reputation speaks for itself. And um, in the comments on the Facebook pages, and it, when they found out it was Turnbull that was doing these, are, are like, you guys started right at the top. So we're really proud to have partnered with Thanks. them on that. Uh, so we will be the exclusive dealer for, uh, and, and two parts to this. And so the first part of it is, uh, you've heard that before probably from us. Uh, this is the first G2 uh, that we got back from these guys. So some of you guys that ordered these things last week, I'm actually holding your frames. Uh, so they, we'll get the trigger work done on them shortly and, and get them out to you. Um, but uh, in, in, this, in this process, if you want a new one, you call us and order it. We'll send it to them. It's about a three to four week turnaround time and maybe add an extra week for the trigger job if we do that. And uh, so that's how, we do, that's how we will do new frames. And um, if you have used frames, and this is what's new in the process here, is if you have a uh, used blue G2 contender or Encore frame that you want case hardened, don't call Turnbull, call us, mm -hmm. okay? Because they'll just turn right around and refer to Correct. to us. Okay, so then you ship it to us, just like if you were sending it to us to do a trigger job. No FFL required. You send it directly to us, okay? Because you already have possession of it. That's the key, all right? So then we will disassemble it, prep it for them, ship it out with our regular installments of frames that we yep. will be stocking, our stocking inventory, and then get it back, and then we'll either reassemble or we'll do the trigger job on it for you at that point. So, again, if you if you have a used one to do, then um, that, would be, that would be the process. Okay, so now we've fielded a lot of questions over the last couple of weeks since we've made this initial announcement. And so I'm just going to fire those questions off to Steve, and you'll hear it straight from the horse's mouth. All right. First of all, this whole charcoal and bone thing, Right. Okay. All right. Now we've, the, the magic, we have right? internally made some jokes about the bone side of it. We don't want to get PETA involved. Right. Okay. So explain that process. Sure. Yeah. So the, the process is the same way that they did it back in the 1800s. Uh, it's using both bone and wood charcoal. Uh, so uh, like cattle bones and, and wood that they've 
uh, charred and then turned into charcoal. Uh, the receivers packed in that, put in the crucible. Okay. Um, What's a crucible? So a crucible, kind of just a, a steel box. A container, steel box. Yep, okay. exactly. Okay. Yeah, something to contain it. Uh, it's then put in the, the kiln, uh, heated up over 1,000 degrees. Okay. And then once it's uh, uh, reached the temperature, it's taken out, quenched, and then it, and it comes right out with that case hardened look. Okay, so, so quench, quenching it means cooling it down correct. in water. Right. Yep. In yep. water. Okay. Um, so now, um, once once you've once you've done that, and and we will, by the way, there will there is a link, believe it or not, to a Larry Potterfield video at Midway USA. Larry, yep. I love you, man. And and so we'll we're gonna put that link up so you can just kind of visually see how to do this because there's a lot of myths involved. There are some new chemical methods to to doing this, but this is the old school method. This is this is the true to life way that it was done in right. the in the eighteen hundreds. Okay. So uh, with that said, some of the questions that we have fielded are um, what about barrels? Do we do we do barrels or we not do barrels? Right. Uh, good question. I think a color piece barrel with a great um, the reason we don't do barrels is because of the pressures. Okay. Um, you know a barrel has to be such a homogeneous uh, hardened steel and the, the pressure is generated from the round. Um, the case hardening, you know, it, it's hardening the steel. So about three thousandths deep, and that hardening could weaken it to the point that potential failure if you did a barrel. One of the things so. that I noticed on this new gun here, uh, on, on the after um, chamber. So let's try to get it to where you can see the case hardened look um, with, a, with a blue octagon barrel. Um, it it looks, looks way cool. It's hard to get it right in the light. But it, but that combination looks striking. Uh, it looks, it looks fantastic. So that would be the recommendation there. So no, no barrels. Okay. Right. So we're not doing barrels. Okay. What about original contender frames? Now, I don't want to be guilty of saying G1 because I think apparently I'm the one who says G1 all right. the time. Generation one original contender frames. What right. About, what about those? So uh, generation one contender frames. Uh, we had originally done them as a limited run for the factory, as you all know. Uh, they're out there in the wild. You can get one of those. Uh, as far as color case hardening, you know, potentially an original or a generation one uh, contender that you have, um, not something that we're offering. Uh, we had done those for the factory only. Uh, that's that's when they were, uh, you know, assembling them and fitting any parts sure, that needed adjustment. Sure. Um, and you know, really, the the thing that's great about the second generation uh, is is adding the, the the strength to the side of the receiver the gussets right yeah so yeah. so that that really uh, it changed you know, changed how the how changed the whole process yeah it, it removes any any potential uh, uh, for deformity thank you uh, yeah deformity or yeah. or making things where they don't fit anymore right. uh, so that's that's a lot of heat when you go up over a thousand degrees and so, so that's the reason why uh, any of the original or generation one uh, receivers we we will not case harden okay all yeah. right. That's that's good. So that's a that's just a cut and dry. Um, G twos and um, and encores now. And there's no difference between an encore and a pro hunter. Okay, they are the same platform. It's just that uh, swing hammer that makes it a pro hunter and the engraving on the side. So there's that that takes away that that question there as well. Um, what about other finishes? So far, we've only talked blue. Right. What about stainless? Sure. Uh, Stainless steel, and then also they have a, uh, you said a Cerakote finish, well, right? It's Weather Shield. Oh, Weather yeah. Shield. Excuse Weather me. Shield is yeah. the official TC name, but it's okay. basically a Cerakote type right, that, finish. Right, that silver finish that they have on the Weather Coat. Yeah. So uh, neither stainless steel or the Weather Coat are finishes that we can do. Uh, stainless steel actually won't case harden. It'll just come out a goofy color. Um, and then uh, as far as the Weather Shield, uh, to be able to prep that before doing the case hardening would take uh too much prep work, you know. We to the only way to remove it is to bead blast it, and then it's going to have a uh, you know more of a matte finish, and it really doesn't display the case hardening as well as it should. So that's the reason why we won't do those as well. Agreed, agreed. Okay, so so we're, so it's blue. Blue. Right. Their choices yep. are blue, blue, or blue. Correct. Okay, so uh, so that's what we're, that's what we're offering. That's what they're telling us, and then they're the experts with it. That's why this is so valuable to be able to sit down and share. Uh, uh, we did attempt to do this live on Facebook, but as normal technical difficulties, problem with the uh, the House of Arms uh, television network. Uh, I don't know what it was, but anyway, so we're we're putting this out in in video and.
hopefully, yeah, hopefully we're still going here, right. I, I guess. Um, so you got to love technology. Uh, I certainly do. So, so anyway, um, call House of Arms if you want that done. Uh, please understand that sometimes we're not being vague or evasive on uh, our friend Facebook. We just have to be really careful not to put up certain links and things like that. So if you ever wondered about that, that's kind of why it is. So uh, message me, send a message to us and we'll message you back. We'll answer you back and everything will be cool that way and nobody gets in trouble. Uh, we will post this to Facebook. Uh, I'm sorry, to, to, well, certainly to Facebook on our page and on their page. And, um, and then we'll also uh, lo load it to YouTube as well. So it'll be one of our regular videos in case you miss this. So I guess for now, thank you, Steve, for yeah. coming to Colorado yeah. and uh, visiting with us here. It's certainly been an been a, a educational process for me, uh, for our whole staff here um, at House of Arms. And as, as well as we hope it has been for you as, as well. So uh, we thank you. Stay safe, shoot straight, and have fun. <laughs> All right. Tech help. <laughs>